before I actually start this I do want to say that um, if you've decided that you want to buy a fleet carrier and take on all the costs and stuff like that by all means do so this is I'm not trying to change anybody's mind in this these are my reasons why I don't think they're worth having for me um, but as I've always said the beauty of this game is you can play it exactly the way you like to play it it doesn't matter whether I like it or not so yes if you want a carrier have fun with it really enjoy it I wish you all well I really do the reason I'm not going for it and I hope this is the last I'll have to say on the subject for uh, uh, unless something really changes because I did fancy one when they first came out my gameplay I like exploring that's what I, I like to do I like to see stuff I'd even call myself a casual explorer I mean some people get right into it and do so much surveying fair enough I'm not really into the grind but I do like to go out and see stuff and have a look at the science I suppose yeah I'm a tourist so I do that it pays okay um, the carrier's no use for that at all and until you can scoop fuel I don't think it ever will be I know you'll be able to get to a couple of systems that you can't reach at the moment but paying all that upkeep just to get to a couple of systems and then send all your ships out there to explore I don't know maybe the more serious minded of explorers will think that's okay not for me really I just want to enjoy myself so I do that. I like exploring the pays okay. Combat. I love combat zones. Res is almost as much. And to be honest with you, combat tends to pay less than a hooker with a headache. You will earn not really very much at that at all. So what I tend to do to earn money is I grind passenger missions, which is the least grindy of the missions I've found. I am allergic to grind, I come up in a rash. Not really, that's something totally different. But then again, I don't really mind. I've got about 15 billion sitting in the bank at the moment. And I've got the ships I want at the moment. So really, as long as I make 100 million a week, I'm okay. I mean, normally I make more than that. The big thing is I don't want to mine. So that's really it. Uh, you know, I had a look at it with uh, Commander Bravestone, who I must thank, actually, because without him, he has a totally different perspective on the game to me. My view would probably be very, very narrow, but we toss ideas back to get back and forward to each other. And obviously, it, it keeps me in mind that my way isn't the only way. I mean, that would be very, very, very narrow-minded. Okay, so... What I've done here is I've actually made notes. I don't normally do that. I normally just start the recorder and run my mouth. But there was so much that came up here. I've decided to write some stuff down. Otherwise, I'll forget it. And you know what happens if you forget to say something you really want to have said. You spend the rest of the afternoon slamming your own head in the fridge. Okay. Point one. Not since the Gnosis have the devs so royally screwed the pooch. <coughs> Quiet pooch. It seems to be a mistake that, I don't know, everyone seems to have hated. There are obviously people who are going to love these. Um, from the other videos I've done, some have almost turned into forums with the comments pages and going backwards and forwards I've learnt stuff from the people who have commented and it's been really really negative against these things of course people that see my attitude to it are either going to argue with me or which is, which is fine they can do that or they're going to agree with me so it's probably not a very scientific uh, sample but yes honestly not since the Gnosis no not again but the uh, the whole thing has been so unpopular and I think a little cynical I'll get to that later 
The ships I buy, they either earn me money or they enable me to do something or earn money. So it's it's just basically an investment that you initially make, you speculate, and then you accumulate. With this, I don't think I'd be able to accumulate, not unless I savagely changed my game style and then it would just be a cost of gaming to keep this up. I have a day job. Well, it's a sort of day job. I do it in the evenings, but there you go. But there is some day stuff. Um, it's less grindy than this, and they give me money for it. That enables me to buy flat juice and donuts and beer and stuff like that, which is lovely. Healthy options are available. So it fails in that idea straight away and they say that if you're being creative enough you can make this work I'm sorry I don't want to work that hard this is a game I want to enjoy it <sighs> point three the costs are so ridiculous I think probably artificially inflated and they intended Frontier have intended to reduce these Probably it would be just like modding a game. You change the values and the thing. It would be very easy to do and say, look, see, we're listening. And probably reduce them to something like what they expected. But even at half their value at the moment. Half the cost. Too much. Too much, too much, too much. In fact, there should not be an upkeep cost. Yes, maintenance. But not upkeep. And I expect the maintenance would be high on a ship this size. The wear and tear. No fuel scoop, as I keep saying, so it's absolutely of no use to me anyway. Uh, the warm-up time and the cool-down, oh, forget it. We sat there scratching for an hour because there was nothing really we could take on. Because most things take a bit of time. But as I say, the idea of doing that, artificially inflating stuff so you can bring it down to pretend you've paid attention. I think that's known as the old switcheroo, the bait and switch. Um, so at best, that's misguided, and at the worst, cynical. Point four. You can't do your own stuff. You'll be far too busy grinding fuel for your next jump. Either mining it, and if you don't want to mine, then your options are, well, hang on, you can't leave the bubble. Only by 500 light years, providing you've got a full tank, so you can get back. It will become, this is also point five actually, a game of maintain your fleet carrier. That will be the main aim of the game. And as I said right at the beginning, I like to vary my gameplay because I'm not very good at nailing myself to a task. Again, if I give the example of Commander Bravestone, I admire his tenacity. He went mining for 10 hours every day to make a billion a day and he did it by that time I'd be cutting myself but he did it and that's great and you know what he loves it so great it's absolutely brilliant he should do that if that's what he wants to do but then again I shouldn't be forced to do it too if I don't want to do it any more than he should be forced to slam his bits and pieces in the street door Something that did irk me a little bit, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I thought, you know, half arsed here a bit. There's no bridge. So you ride, thank you. So you ride in your ship in the hold, like Eurostar. Now, if you can't get in the bridge, when this jumps, I don't know if you've seen my video of the jump, but from inside, it's pretty unimpressive. You know, there's a bit of smoke, a bit of noise. Um, we could just switch to an outside view so we could watch it. I mean, that would be really easily, easily done. Exactly the same as the way we go from one system to another. In fact, you could use that as the load. Obviously, I would prefer a bridge. I would like to be able to fly the thing around, but that's not the way these work. That isn't the way this mechanic has been set up. Shame, but there might even be good reasons for that. 
I'd just like to end up on a couple of comments actually there was loads and loads of comments and they were all so wonderful but two actually made me think and this is not the way a game should make you think one guy said I feel like I'm in an abusive relationship in this game that I haven't quite got the gumption to leave and another one which was quite poignant F devs are the worst griefers in the game uh, yeah I mean the sandbox analogy you know if you're digging too quickly through the sandbox they'll take your shovel away give you a spoon all that sort of thing but there's been good stuff as well I don't want to make this a we all hate the devs thing although I've got to say God give me a break I don't know, I'm trying to be as upbeat about as this as I can, and what the hell? Who thought this would be a good idea? I think we're back to the pooch again. Okay, everybody, go out. <laughs>